was the whole XRP Ripple versus the SEC case fake? OMG. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. There's a rumor out there, and I saw an article talking about was the whole SEC case for, for Ripple all fake, and it was all in order that the SEC could do something, right? I'll, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about also some interesting uh, updates about India using the XRP ledger to do some transactions with the UAE, with the United Arab Emirates. We'll talk about that, how that could potentially be the future of uh, XRP and of crypto going forward. All I ask from you is to give me a beautiful smile, to send out the good, good vibes, right? Maybe by the time you see this, Iran is sending missiles at me. Maybe not. We don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, smishity smash that like button for XRP. You know, maybe we'll help the price go up. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, and let's get into it. So currently the price of XRP is at 0 0.56 down. Uh, sorry, not down, up 1.36% on the day. It is down over the last uh, hour or so. The market has been super, super duper spiky, uh, up and down and up and down. Uh, very, very hard day for day trading unless you're you know sniping in and sniping out um the uncertainty uh what could potentially happen with uh, israel and iran has the markets very very unstable you can see went up then to tank then went up again then tanked then went up again then tanked right this is the five minute chart uh the algos are taking advantage of this moving the price of not just xrp but the whole crypto market up and down and up and down and up and down we'll see uh there's you know rumors next 24 hours potentially something could happen it's a it's like a holy day a, a day of uh, remembrance here um so we'll see what happens if they'll do something um it's, it's gonna be interesting <laughs> we'll see we'll see um but this was interesting xrp news india's oil transactions with uae using xrp ledger is this a catalyst for altcoin growth so basically india has made a bold move by completing an oil transaction with the uae using the xrp ledger this is a game-changing event, raises the question, could altcoins see a surge in popularity as a result? Listen, if we're going to see more and more countries adapting cryptocurrency in general and XRP in specific, of course, this would always be good because this puts more eyes on crypto, puts more eyes on XRP. There's going to be, there's already one and a half billion people in India. That's a lot, right? And potentially if they see this and they see this news, they're like, oh, our, our government is using XRP. Maybe they'll, you know, want to buy XRP as a result of that. And maybe we'll push the price up. Will India buy XRP? I don't know about that. We'll have to see. You know, there's a lot of rumors about Japan that we've talked about over the past few days. We'll see if this continues. We know that there's the whole BRICS movement with people and countries trying to detach themselves from the US dollar to do transactions over borders that are not with dollar. Until now, a lot of the transactions has always been with dollar. They're trying to figure out how they can detach from that. They don't want to be dollar dependent. And the world shouldn't really be dollar dependent because there's about 30 trillion, <laughs> right? US debt. Uh, and so we don't know what's going to happen there. It's, you know, it's going to be in a very interesting 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the line. What will happen with all of this? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on it. I don't know enough. I'm not a professor of economics to know enough how much, you know, it could have an effect, all this money printing. But I don't think it's going to be good in the end. We'll see. Maybe I won't be here tomorrow. Maybe I will. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. World War III, who knows? <laughs> so, um, you know, we're talking about that, but, you know, it could be massive swings here. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. So as the Ripple versus SEC case has been winding down, Ripple got the fine. We still could be an appeal by the SEC, but, you know, it's basically been determined that Ripple, sorry, that uh, XRP is not a security. And there's this conspiracy theory that <laughs> has been going around. Was Ripple versus the SEC staged from the beginning to make XRP the first regulated cryptocurrency? Um, so this was first put out by Ben Armstrong. Now, Ben Armstrong is a very colorful character has been through a lot over the past few years has had some wild takes uh, he shared his thoughts that he thinks that it was all you know dragged on for years 
and it was all fake, right? Um, and he thinks that it was staged from the beginning. He confidently stated that he would always believe the Ripple case was never genuine legal battle. According to him, the outcome was orchestrated to make XRP the first regulated cryptocurrency, paving the way for its integration into global banking system. He explained that much of what people see in such high-profile cases isn't real. In his view, the lawsuit was carefully planned strategy to legitimize XRP and position it's a, a key factor in the financial world. There's zero chance ever that this was not going to go Ripple's way. It indeed needed to be regulated. Everything has to look normal. The people that are not at the top control things, they have to make it look like normal all the time. Okay. Let's talk about this. If they wanted <laughs> to make regulation, they would make regulation, right? Um, at the time they started this, it was a different scenario. It was different time in the crypto market. Um, I don't think that they, it's a staged, right? I think that they underestimated, they did understand 100% the SEC, that it was the case that they were not going to win. I think that if they wanted straight up to just do regulation, then you do regulation. You pass laws, you do regulation, you work with Congress, you work with the House, you, you do stuff, right? Um, but they didn't do that. A court case costs money, it costs time, and they might get sued if this was staged because people will come and say, hey, XRP's price has been stuck for the past three, four years because of this court case. And if this was all staged, then you cost me a lot of money because XRP's price has not gone up because people were afraid to buy it because if the court case was lost and XRP was seen as a security, then it would change the total scenario with XRP. So I don't think, right, that this is, <laughs> this is real. Um, BitBoy has been done to, has been known to do a little bit of, uh, recreational um you know stuff <laughs> right um so i wouldn't you know put too much weight on what he's saying here maybe maybe he's right right he had a theory about you know the creator of uh, shib and i don't think he was right about that i still think it's elon musk <laughs> and vitalik Buterin, but maybe he's right about this you know sometimes conspiracy theories they seem to us like a crazy thing and then it's like it was real, right? Um, but most of the times, conspiracy theories are are wrong. Um, will it affect the price of XRP if if it was uh, indeed uh, staged? Maybe, maybe people will be like, "Oh my God, this should be worth a lot more," and they start buying. But I don't think that that will be a catalyst if this is true. I just think it will put more pressure on the SEC. Uh, and they'll get sued a lot, and maybe people will make money that way because they'll sue the government. But I, I really don't think that this is, you know, something that is really happening. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But currently, the price of XRP is just moving with the market. It's moving with the flow. It's moving with what's happening with the news. It did bounce off of the 54 range here uh, as it dipped down, which is a positive sign. Uh, but it has been, you know, choppy like the rest of the crypto market. So it's going to be very interesting to see where XRP goes from here and how much it can, uh, you know, will the market crash if Iran attacks Israel? We don't know. And April, in um, April 13th, it crashed. Um, so we'll see what happens this time around. Uh, I, I don't think uh, it should crash, but we'll see what happens. People, you know, are afraid of World War Three and stuff like that. And so... Uh, you need to be on your toes. Is this something long term? No, it's a uh, hopefully right. Knock on wood. Uh, it's it should be according to all the reports something not huge, and then you know it potentially will affect in the short term a few days, and then we potentially will see XRP come back here if it does happen. We don't know. We don't. I don't know. I'm not a prophet. I don't know what's going to happen. When it's going to happen. What the price is going to do, I, you know, long term I can speculate, but short term it's really hard because you have these black swan events, you have fear, you have CPI and PPI this week, uh, the US government uh, data is coming out about inflation. So this week can be very, very choppy uh, and it will be very interesting to uh, continue to report on XRP and I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe, smash the like button, check out the links in the description down below, see if anything interests you. Of course, not financial advice and you should always do your own diligence before you decide to invest. And like I always say, 
Let's make a lot of money.